Hey guys, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video I want to show you how to add sustain pedal MIDI automation using the MIDI draw feature in the piano roll in Logic Pro 10. I had someone email me about this recently and they said that they had a MIDI controller to play in uh, MIDI notes, but they didn't have a sustain pedal, and he was trying to draw in sustain pedal as automation and just couldn't get it to sound right. So in this video I'm going to show you how to properly draw in sustain pedal automation so you can get that real piano sustained sound on chords and other musical ideas. It just makes it sound a lot smoother and legato than without the sustain pedal. Alright, so let's give this a listen as is. All right, so it sounds good. It's just a little dry sounding because it has no sustain on it whatsoever. So let's uh, let's close out our piano roll down here. By the way, you can pull up the piano roll down here just by pressing P. Uh, I actually prefer to actually use the full piano roll window, which you can go up to window, open piano roll to find that, or you can press command four to find that as well. And uh, so we have, we've got a separate window here for the piano roll. All right, so next let's pull up our MIDI draw, which is right here. It used to be called HyperDraw in Logic 9. And basically what we're seeing right now is the note velocity of each note represented as a value between 0 and 127. So essentially what uh, MIDI draw lets us do is it lets us draw in MIDI uh, control change automation. So this includes things like your modulation wheel, your faders, knobs, and pitch bend. Although as a side note, pitch bend is not technically a control change, but it behaves similarly. With the mod wheel, faders, and knobs, these are all called continuous controllers because it has a range of 0 to 127 that you can move up, down, maybe with knobs left and right, whatever. With the sustain pedal, it's also a control change, but the sustain pedal is actually a switch controller, not a continuous controller. It's either on or off. It technically does have a range of 0 to 127, just like the others, but essentially, essentially all the way up is on and all the way down is off. Um, so basically pressing the pedal is on and releasing the pedal is off. So drawing in the sustain pedal automation is not what's difficult. Uh, the difficult part is understanding proper pedaling technique. It's a very quick motion that happens just after uh, the first note of the passage that you want to pedal. So some people assume that, you know, if I want to pedal all of measure three here, that they're basically going to turn on the automation for all of measure three, starting at the beginning of measure three. That's actually not correct. Um, basically what, you, what you're gonna do is you're gonna keep the pedal on all, all the way up here at 127 the whole time. And as you approach a point where you want to lift the pedal, you go to the very first note of that passage and you're gonna basically release or lift the pedal. Now it's a little confusing because we're pulling the automation down, but pulling the automation down is actually lifting your foot off of the pedal and then very quickly pressing back down again. So it's a very, very quick uh, lift and then press motion. Now, real quick before we, um, before we listen to that, let me show you what happens when you just put sustain pedal automation on all of this. It's going to get very blurry and the notes are going to sort of all run into each other. It's not going to sound very pretty. So it doesn't actually sound that bad, but the problem is that the chords are bleeding in um, to each other. Each uh, measure, I've got a different chord that's being played. So what I'm going to do is each measure, I'm going to, again, do that quick lift and then press down of the pedal. So right on our very first note of measure three, just right after the note is pressed, we're going to uh, click to create an automation point. We're going to pull that down. So that's the lifting of the pedal. And then right after we lift our pedal, or lift our foot real quick, we are going to press it back down again. So that's essentially what this is signifying. So the cool thing is once you create one of those little shapes, you can sort of copy and paste that shape um, wherever else you want it to go. So I'm just going to use the automation select tool to copy that. 
I'm going to just hold Option and drag it over to the next chord on measure 4. And then drag it over to the next chord on measure 5. And basically just go on down the line and each chord will have a lift and then a press of the sustain pedal. And again, notice that I'm putting it right on the very first note or chord of the measure, but before the, the next note in the, uh, in the passage. So we'll do this, and we'll do this. Now, another thing to just remember is if you want your sustain pedal to eventually end and you don't want it to just carry on forever, you're going to have to eventually put in a zero, um, uh, a zero automation point to, to basically cut the pedal, to lift off the pedal. So um, if I just leave this up, it's just going to sustain on forever. So, I mean, it, eventually the sound will die out, but the sustain will last beyond the, uh, the length of the region. So let's give this a listen and see what it sounds like. And there you go. Now, another way we can do this is if you want to put more um, pedaling in, um, it's often pretty common for like notes like this, where the notes are more of like a scalar thing instead of being part of a chord like they are over here. What you can do is you can put in a new pedal there and a new pedal there, and you can kind of go crazy with the pedals. So it's like basically lift, da, 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 lift, 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 da, 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 lift, lift. Just trying to sing it to you um, the way the the lifting is gonna is gonna work but you could try something like this too just so there aren't so many notes that are getting uh, blurred and blended together let's give this a listen now Yeah, it all depends on how, how much sustain you want. I actually kind of like it this way, where I've got one uh, pedal per chord per measure. So, um, so that's just using sustain pedal automation with the MIDI draw. It's Again, it's a pretty simple thing to do. It's more or less just under, understanding how actual pianists perform their pedaling properly and then translating that into uh, MIDI automation for you. You can also use this to correct um, incorrect pedaling, like let's say you actually had a pianist come in and play on your MIDI controller and they actually used um, a sustain pedal while you're recording, you can use this to fix or maybe tweak um, their pedaling, like maybe they missed a pedal or maybe they uh, held the pedal too long or held it too short or whatever, or not, maybe not in the right place. You can use this automation to not only um, correct their notes up here like you normally would and quantize them and whatnot, but you can also correct their pedaling down here. Any pedaling that they play in is going to show up down here. All right, guys, so pretty simple video. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.